everybody, it's Professor Williams and I'm here with Capital Budgeting today. We're going to take a look at the discounted payback period. Discounted payback period is a variation of the payback period approach, except in this case we use discounted cash flows when we calculate the time an investment will take to pay back its initial cash outflow or the initial cost. And this allows us to look at the time it takes for a project to break even from an investment. And the advantage to this approach is it considers the time value of money. So let's look at an example. So we have a project with a cost of capital of 8%. And the firm has decided that the maximum allowable discounted payback period is three years. In other words, they will give this project three years to cover the initial cash outflow of $2,200. In order to do this, we're simply going to find the net present value for the first three years cash flows. Um, and that's going to allow us to see if the project meets our required payback period. If we aren't paid back at the end of year three, then we automatically know our decision will be to reject the project. So there's no reason to calculate the NPV for years four and five. So let's just do the first three years and see if we get paid back. All right, so we're simply going to use our time value of money keys. And so we're going to begin with year one. So for year one, our N is one year. Our cost of capital, or IY, is 8%. We have no payment. And the future value is $960. And now we want to compute the present value. This is my $888.89. So now we're going to do year two. Clear our time value money keys. And in this case, N is going to be two. Same IY of 8%. Still no payment. And the future value is going to be that cash flow of $840. And now we're going to compute the present value. So for year two, we have a present value of $720.16. So we've still got to do year three. Clear our time value money keys. In this case, we're going to get that in year three. Gives us an N of three. Same cost of capital of eight same payment of zero, and that future value is going to be a cash flow of $880. So now we're going to compute our present value. And that gives us $698.57. So we're going to take these three cash flows and see how long it takes them to chip away at that initial investment of $2,200. All right, so let's see what this is going to to look like. So I had that initial investment of $2,200. And in the first year, I'm going to recover $888.89. So that still leaves me out of pocket, this 131111. So that tells me I need all of the cash flows from year one, but I'm still in the hole. So now we have to look and say, OK, how much is year two going to cover for us? All right, so we still hadn't covered our cost at the e end of year one. So now we're going to use the cash flows from year two. And so we knew after year one, we were still out of pocket, 13, 11, 11. And in year two, we had a cash inflow of 7, 20, 16. So I'm still short $590.95 to cover that initial $2,200. So now I need all of year two's cash flows to help me get out of the red. All right, so at the end of year two, I was still short this $590.95. But in year three, in year three, our net present value was $600. $98.57. That was what we found as the present value of that third year's cash flow. So I do not need all of it. So I just need a portion 
of that 698.57. So the way that I find what portion of it I need is I take the remaining balance to be covered divided by the third year's cash flow tells me that I've got 0 0.8459 or 0.85. In other words, I need 0.85 of year 3. So I needed all of year 1, all of year 2, but in year 3, I only needed 0.85. So what this looked like was we needed all of the cash flows from year 1 and 2, and 0.85 of the cash flows from year 3, and that makes our discounted payback period 2.85 years. The first two years plus 0.85 of year 3. Remember at the beginning, our decision criteria was a discounted payback period of 3 years. We're going to recoup our investment in less than 3 years, and so that means we're going to accept this project. I hope this video was helpful, and thanks for watching.